Greetings, I'm Linda Pence Gunter with Beyond Nuclear and this is the update. Bill Gates, who we are now expected to accept as an authority on climate change and nuclear power, presumably because he's very wealthy and famous, and as my anti-nuclear colleague Dave Kraft teasingly reminded us was proudly behind Microsoft Vista, has written a book. It's called How to Avoid a Climate Disaster. In it, he claims that there are only three ways, and I quote, to make electricity cheap and reliable. Two of them are nuclear and one of them is fusion, which is even more pie in the sky than Gates' own fission reactor plan being explored by his company, TerraPower. It's spelled T-E-R-R-A, but it's an interesting choice of name given what nuclear power can inflict when it goes wrong, which without luck permanently on our side, it will inevitably do. So Gates is on a book tour and he recently told the Washington Post magazine in one of his umpteenth interviews that, and I quote again, I'll be happy if terror power was a waste of money, unquote. Good news, Mr. Gates, you can stop worrying and be happy because terror power is indeed a colossal waste of money and time. New nuclear is not cheap and reliable. Cheap nuclear just saw the costs at the two still unfinished new nuclear reactors in Georgia balloon to $21 billion in 2021, more than double the original cost and counting. Reliable nuclear power just shut down during the big freeze in Texas, leaving residents shivering in the dark. New nuclear is not going to, quote, lift billions out of poverty, unquote, as you erroneously claim, Mr. Gates. It's going to bankrupt corporations, fleece taxpayers and ratepayers, and it doesn't have even the shadow of a chance of getting here in time to avoid climate disaster. Nuclear power is a choice that makes absolutely no sense because nuclear power is far more expensive than other cleaner, safer, renewable energy sources like wind and solar. And nuclear reactors take years to build when we're in a climate emergency that requires fast, economical, clean energy right now. We would save more carbon faster and at lower cost by choosing renewable energy and energy efficiency instead of nuclear power. This would be better for climate change, better for the economy, and far, far better for our long-term health and safety. As the energy economist Amory Lovins has written unceasingly, quote, costly options save less carbon per dollar than cheaper options. Slow options save less carbon per year than faster options. Thus, even a low or no carbon option that is too costly or too slow, in other words, nuclear power, will reduce and retard achievable climate protection, unquote. Mr. Gates wants to squander a billion dollars of his own money and another billion that he will seek from investors and by his own admission, likely some federal funding, in other words, our money as well. And yet, if it's not needed, he's quite happy to laugh it all off when fusion, perpetually 30 years away for decades now, takes over. Bill Gates is not a climate scientist or an economist or a nuclear expert. He is a businessman, and he is a businessman who is so rich, he doesn't even care if his nuclear folly doesn't pay off. That doesn't sound like a responsible steward of planet Earth to me, and it doesn't sound like someone trying to avoid a climate disaster. It sounds like someone quite happy to spend billions making it worse. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.